This gentleman beside us knows all about it. His name is Caleb Kruger. Uh, is manager of Capture the Flag Paintball and Airsoft just west of Cochrane. Is that right? Yeah, northwest. Northwest of Cochrane. Mm -hmm. What is Airsoft? We know what paintball is, right? Just the little paint pellets. Yeah. Out of a, out so of I a... might get in trouble saying this, but I think Airsoft took its roots from paintball. And then what it is, instead of shooting the traditional paintball, which you see the splatter on you, it's little plastic BBs. And why it's getting so exciting is because you can get more realistic. So these are actual replica of real guns. So these guys dress up like they're in the military, so they can have like light SMGs, little guns, or they can yeah. have the big machine guns, you know? They can dress up as all these different military characters, have riot shields, so it's similar to LARPing. Yep. And we can get, it's really exciting, all the different outfits guys come with, and all the different get-ups, and theme characters, and movie characters, so it's awesome. Kind of like a real-world video game, it sounds like. Well, both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. both are, yeah. Um, we have a video question that was sent in for you. Uh, take a look. Hi, my name is Logan and I live in Calgary. And my question for Capture the Flake Paintball is what type of groups can play and why I should come out there instead of playing at a place just within the city? Thanks. Type of groups and why go all the way out to Cochrane? Yeah. First Our of all, type of groups. Like our place, our culture at our place is we have all different groups. We have churches, we have schools, we have stags, stagats, teams. It's just, it's stag awesome. Yeah, you could na you could name a group of people, and we've we've had them out. So I'm there. Yeah, <laughs> and then why come? Um, place in the, like the city, for example, in Nora Arenas, traditionally only have one playing field. Out at our facility, we have 23 different courses wow. spread over uh, over 100 acres. So we're larger than an 18-hole golf course. So we have towers, we have castles, we have a town, we have forests, we have all different types of areas, so it's, it's pretty pretty neat. Is it Ooh. fun to come up with new things to put on the course? Yeah, absolutely. It's like I get to build a map, I just get to imagine something, then we go out there and build it, and it's awesome to see how the game kind of morphs around the features you put on mm -hmm. the course. Well, the, the LARP idea has the, the group of them get together, correct me if I'm wrong, Corey, and they come up with a story. Mm -hmm. Is it the same kind of idea with airsoft or paintball? There is, yeah. So there's things called big games. So normally when a group comes out, they're just going to play with their own group and we tell them to play traditional capture flag and they play their own unstructured games. We also run events called large games. See, this is probably, this is a, this is an indoor airsoft, so yep. it's not at our facility. But yeah, so what we do with our big games is we, uh, we set up, we have structured games. We're gonna have different groups, so we might have like, you know, the cops and robbers, you know, the cops oh, and bad yeah, guys, yeah. or cops and drug dealers. And there's gonna be different objectives, like the drug dealers might have to protect a different area, or you know, it's different, different games you can play out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. These guns, or the weapons that you have, they are so realistic, man. And the, like the outfits, too, it looks very real. That's part of the allure, though. Exactly. You get that real life feel. Yeah. Yeah. So what these guys like it, they like it for the realism. So paintball, the guns do not look like this at all. This is airsoft, so they're exact replica of the real ones. So, which do you enjoy more? I enjoy paintball. I like to see the splatter. I like I like I like to see the splatter, and it just I don't know. It's I like the plunk. I like I like feeling that. Airsoft BBs, they go a little faster. It's a little more realistic, and it's a little more competitive. Does it hurt? You feel it. Mm. Um, I don't like to associate wounds. hurt. I, yeah. <laughs> I don't have any bruises on me at the moment. But yeah, they He's can't. that good of a yeah. player. <laughs> would you try this, Jody? I would try and it I, I if mean I had enough. Personally, but even as a woman, would you try this? You need the protective gear because yeah. nobody wants bruises on their legs mm -hmm. in summer season. That's yeah. the deal. But a lot of women do play this. Absolutely. Stay up parties. We had a 12-year-old swim team. They came out. 12-year-old girl swim team come out last weekend. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's super popular with girls now. Birthdays from 10 years of age and up all the way up to we've had grandmas join the family groups play. It's, it's pretty neat to see. Yeah. And it's a year-round facility, so even in the winter, yeah. you're out there playing. Yeah. So what we do oh, is we man. take the yeah traditional camos, we switch them in for white suits, so you can blend in with the snow, so you can lay That's down in the snow and camouflage. Yeah, and we have a, so people are always concerned, uh, you're playing in the winter, are these paintballs going to freeze? But we have a special winterized paintball, so it's not going to freeze. So it actually hurts mm. less in the winter because you mean wearing a few layers. Yeah, so it's awesome. So it's completely, we've taken that and we're a completely new spin on the sports. We're one of the only fields that I know of that actually plays paintball in the snow. We get these special paintballs brought out to our place, so it's really neat. So why do we love this so much? Because we're living a fantasy, we're role playing. Is that part of what's going on here? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you're shaking your head too. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, it's it's an escape. I mean, you know, you have your your Monday to Friday grind, <laughs> and on the weekend you get to go and 
and, and shoot some people or swing a sword and you know kill a goblin or whatever. Um, it's just a great escape. It's a great stress reliever. It really, it's really a is. Aggression, you may uh, have. Aggression, yeah. uh, the adrenaline, <laughs> um, you know, uh, the exercise. That's one thing that people don't understand about like LARP and, oh, and airsoft. Yeah. Yeah. You're running around. You're physically active. It, you know, uh, a five minute combat in in, in LARP will drain you completely like you're gasping for air at the end of it most come out of shape but you know uh it, it's 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 just an amazing amount of, of escapism and people really need that nowadays mm -hmm. m6 yeah yeah I, op open year round oh you'll seven see days a week yeah people oh. out there just shooting her up yeah <laughs> <laughs> That's great have you tried have you ever tried paintball? i've never played paintball no what i get i've played laser tag oh laser tag Similar, is a step yeah right? it's a step you're Start almost up. there yeah um so great to have you here caleb caleb kruger manager of capture the flight paintball and airsoft the season opener airsoft discount day is may 10th yeah is that right yeah that's your, true your dad would be proud that that we're mentioning this right now too i know he's at home right now watching you going yeah that's my son <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't do it right he'd shoot at the tv um,